another today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am my name is Lisa I am a cruelty youtuber that is trying to have a year long no buy and today I am doing a throwback the throwbacks of throwback I am going to use this super old makeup geek palette that was in collaboration with many MUA the palette looks like this and I have talked about before that I want to use this but then I did a video where my boyfriend picked out some palettes for me to use oh, no <laughs> to talk about I can leave the video up here and then he picked this one and I was like yeah I did really love this at one point in my life so I am going to use this today and I think I know what I can remember I watched a super old video uh, that is private now because it is in Swedish that I did with this palette I think it was my first impression and I did a look and in that video that I loved so so much so I think that I will recreate this look and um, I did that look many many times and um, yeah, I think we're just going to we're going to just dig into this one. And maybe I don't do the exact same because I don't um, use makeup the same way. Because in that video I did use this shade. I don't know if you can see it's it's a dent in this one. Um, I did use that one on my whole lid to set my lid, but I don't do that anymore. So I think I will skip that and. Maybe do some other little twerks to that. So it's maybe, it's a throwback, but not a super throwback. But still, it's a throwback. I'm just going to apply my eyes and I'm using the Kaleidos Tone Activator. And me and this eyeshadow primer, we are like not best friends. I think it's a little bit too, like, thin. And I haven't like figured out how much I want to take. Because that feels like too much. And yeah, this palette is really, really, really old, but it still it doesn't smell anything. So I guess it is okay to use it. So I will just have my things in order a little bit more. So I will just start with this one and I think some of these colors aren't like um, wasn't exclusive to this palette I can't remember which weren't but yeah. yeah so this is going to be a pretty neutral look okay, this palette is so old but the shades still work amazing I'm using Sora right now. I think that might have been one of the exclusive shades. And I I did really really love Makeup Geek back in the days. It was one of the first more fun brands is here one of the more fun brands that I did try it wasn't super easy to get a hold of makeup geek a couple of years back I know the first shade I tried was bitten it's a dark reddish color and that was my favorite shade for a lot of years and then I did buy some singles and I bought this palette and I, yeah, I did really really love Makeup Geek. But now the latest years I haven't been like excited for Makeup Geek that much and now I think they have closed down or they are going to close down. And yeah, it, it made me a little bit sad because, <laughs> as I said, I have been really loving Makeup Geek. And I can actually if I find them. I have some other shades from Makeup Geek. Um, I think the 
first two rows here are all Makeup Geek and like these colors I do really love and I guess that this is Bitten. So yeah, I have been really love Makeup Geek way back. <laughs> and okay, I do... I don't think... Do I need to... I, I think I deepen this down with something. Okay, do you know what? I'm just going to try to dupe the vibe. And I can say this to you, to watch an old video of yourself. It's not like the best in life. And I really do think if I would use makeup on a daily basis to work, I think that Makeup Geek would have been something that I would have used a lot. I haven't used Makeup Geek, maybe not at all, since I switched to English, because then I discover more other more fun brands. And I didn't do, when I had my channel in Swedish, I didn't do that much makeup tutorials or yeah, makeup content like that. So I did often wear something from Makeup Geek, but I didn't talk about it that much. And it feels like one thing that is starting to happen with me is I start to like neutral looks more than more and more. I don't know what's going on. Sometimes I actually feel like, am I in a... Do I have a crisis in my life? I don't know. Okay, I think... In... It was so fun to watch that old video for me. Because I did use a shimmer. I did use this shimmer. And I was like... I don't use shimmer that much, so this feels really special to me. And now I'm here using like shimmers all the time. But I guess that is just how we change. So I'm going to take this shade again. I think this is Frappe. Yeah. Fra Frappe. <laughs> uh, out here as well. And then I'm going to take this Artemis. Oh, okay. Luna on my as a shimmer I don't feel like the shades have gone bad in this one I think they're still performing as they did do back in the days and that is something that annoys the crap out of me when people are going to are making videos about how long lasting makeup is like eyeshadow palettes and they are like yeah they hold for one or two years eyeshadow palettes hold for so much longer if you take care of your eyeshadow palettes they hold much longer I don't know if I ever had eyeshadow palette that has started to smell bad I know that one palette colored rain queen of hearts that one started to like dry up so some of the shades were like impossible to use and first I was like maybe they are hard pan but I did do the tape trick and then I did scrape the top of the palette or the shadows but it still was like yeah I couldn't get any pigment of them at all so I guess that that is the only palette that I have had that has gone bad but otherwise I think if you are somewhat clean and just take care of your palettes they will hold up. And the shadows in this doesn't seem like weird at all. Maybe it's not a good idea or a smart idea for me to use this palette. I have no freaking idea.
okay these colors are good but I ca I can't understand why I was like surprised and so so happy with the quality five years ago or six years ago and uh, but now it feels like I've tested so much more makeup so much more different brands and it isn't something special in that way but they're still really really good I do like the lids do I think it's something super special no do I understand why I did love it when I first got this palette yes I do so I will fix my base and my under eyes and then I come back with the finished look and I'm also thinking about taking a lipstick that I did really really love maybe not at the same time but that I really did love way back like a throwback old super favorite we will see and the color that I think I use pretty often when I did these kinds of makeup I will check if I have something like that and yeah, I'll fix this so this is finished look and I do really really like it for my face I did use my Isadora contour stick a liquid blush from Lumiene and my ozone highlighter from Nabla on my waterline I did use honey dude from Colourpop and on my lips I did use this combo it was kind of this combo I loved a while back so this is Ludwig from KVD Vegan Beauty and Apple Taffy a gloss from the body shop and this look I think it looks really good I do not think though it is like a unique look with this palette but I think it just was fun to play with this palette again and this has been a palette that I have been loving and uh, <laughs> I do really love uh, Makeup Geek or I did I'm not that like impressed anymore and yeah, whatever I did love Makeup Geek back in the days and it was fun to use it again the thing that you can like see is a super big difference for me I don't know if it shows on camera but you see like a dip in this one and a little dip in this and you can see like I've touched these and this row down here I was like a little bit too afraid I know that I use this sometimes but like this I have never used and this one I have used a few few times so you can really like see how my makeup have changed and uh, what I did love and what I do love now but it was fun that you go back to an old favorite and yeah that was all for this video if you want me to play more with my makeup geek single shadows I can do that or maybe I just should do that and do we get red with me or something and using them so yeah i do really hope that you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and i hope that i will see you in the next one bye